There's been a change in the resale market. Huge accounts like Rally Roots, Harry Tornado, American Arbitrage are moving to whatnot. And it's impacting you if you buy or sell things on other platforms. In today's video, we're talking about the, the truth, truth about influencers and whatnot and what they really think about the platform. But first, my name is Blake, this is my channel, and if you want to be kept up to date on the newest resale trends and news, like the video and subscribe. Whatnot is a popular new micro auction platform that pits buyers against each other in rapid speed 30 second live auctions. You can easily buy and sell live with only a cell phone and an internet connection. Items start at $1 and will go as high as the bidders wish to pay, but it being so new and being able to draw influencers with millions of cumulative subscribers and followers, I was curious about what they had to say about the platform behind the scenes. I wanted to know if Whatnot was giving them inventory that would deflate the market because they have no skin in the game. So where did I go? Instagram and I asked them straight up what's going on. The first person I asked was Rally Roots. I said, what are your likes and dislikes about whatnot? And I'll read to you what they said. He said, I'm assuming it's Ryan. I don't know. It could be either of them. What we love about whatnot. Quick turnover sold 100 pairs of boots yesterday in two hours. Wow. That would take us a week just to list on eBay. The interactive aspect is awesome, getting to read people's comments and adjust the show to what they want. The social aspect is cool too, building up a following on the platform. The staff is very seller friendly, willing to work with their sellers and very responsive to feedback and questions, constantly improving the user experience. And that's rare, or at least historically, it's been rare to have that. Now what they don't like. What we don't like. There's an application process to sell. I know I just applied myself today and they're really looking for sellers with an established social media following that they can leverage onto the app. Sometimes there's misbids and troll accounts who run the price up and then not pay, but you can just move on to the next auction and ban them. They don't currently have an international seller platform, but I know that's coming in the future. So then I asked, is it a situation where you're making more sales at a lower net profit per item, but it ends up being a larger net profit overall, or are the prices pretty consistent with eBay? And then they said, depends on the seller and how it's marketed. Our sales have been in line with eBay, less fees and whatnot, 8% and the buyer pays shipping. Finally, I asked them kind of a hard question and I said, basically is whatnot buying your inventory and you're just auctioning it off uh, and then you have no skin in the game per se. Like if it loses money, it doesn't matter to you because they've paid for it. So you're just reaping in the profit because essentially their cost would be $0 because I've seen this criticism quite a bit on YouTube videos and Reddit and on Instagram. Everyone says, oh, they're just being paid to do this implying that they don't care what things go for because their main reason of being there is a sponsorship not to sell items and how they responded blew my mind i'm sure the anticipation is killing you so i'll just read it off to you uh they say they don't do that with us no we tested the platform for a month with no sponsorship put 21 grand in sales through before we did any deals with them. We just signed a sponsorship last week, but no, they don't pay us to bring expensive items. We choose to bring good quality ourselves. And I love hearing that. That is exactly what I hope they would say. And it removes, for me at least, any suspicion that there's foul play occurring. And they're not the only ones that I talked to. I reached out to Cheap Finds Gold Mines, who's a top five seller in the retro game category. And I asked them pretty much the same thing. And they told me, yes, we have been paid for short Facebook and TikTok ad videos, basically. No, we're not being paid to bring in amazing stuff. They're doing it on their own volition. And the ability to move volume over squeezing out every last dollar from every single item is what keeps them active on the platform. 
even smaller accounts like Dana Invests, who has 1,500 here, 2,000 followers there. Someone who is dedicated to being uh, active on social media, but is not bringing in tens of thousands of people. He sees success as well. He told me that when he does an auction, yeah, he brings some people from his audience, but most of his sales occur from users already on the platform. Finally, I reached out to American Arbitrage, who has over 1 million TikTok followers, and Harry Tornado to see how they use WhatNot and what they have to say about what I've asked the previous people. American Arbitrage says the best thing about WhatNot is how fast you can sell quantity. There is no place like it at the moment. If you have 500 items to sell, it can be gone in a few hours and at a profit. That's amazing. That's amazing. I enjoy the mixture of social and selling. You can really build a community. The live auction allows you to show your personality and style. And then Josh, aka Harry Tornado, says he sells clothing, plush, and smalls, like cool action figures that aren't worth our time to list on eBay, but someone may want for five bucks or so on whatnot. We did a plush yesterday, like a plush auction, I assume he means, and sold 45 things in an hour and a half and made over $1,000. Whoa. And then I asked him, hey, Josh, would you use this if they weren't paying you? Because you got to ask everyone that. And what's he say? Absolutely. So there you go, folks. How's a regular person going to use whatnot? I see two really good ways to use it. First of all, go on there and buy stuff. I'm going to link below to sign up. You get $10 if you use my link. Use that to find these auctions where, for whatever reason, an item that normally goes for a high value goes for a very low value. I see it all the time on the auctions I've watched over the past four hours, basically. Sports card singles, vintage t-shirts going for, at some times, like 10% of what the eBay market value is. That's a great way to use it. But also, what I want to do as a seller is get on there and liquidate my inventory of niches, of areas of, uh, of focus that I'm no longer focusing on. So I've got like six tote bins of jeans and clothing that I don't want to list. I want to go on whatnot and just sell those rapid fire, make a few bucks for each pair. I'm rid of my stuff. Someone who does focus on those things can better utilize them and everyone wins. As the e-commerce market matures and as people can just go on their cell phones and buy things and sell things in 30 seconds, we're going to see so much more opportunity for both buyers and sellers. And personally, I'm all here for it. Is eBay doing live auctions? Yeah, supposedly it's in the pipeline. But for now, what not is the place to go. Is this video sponsored? No, it's not. I'm just being honest with you guys. And if you like honest stuff like this, reviews of apps, reseller news, whatever, whatever's going on here, please, I encourage you, subscribe, comment below with your thoughts on the topic, and I'll see you guys later.